Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Scourge League 3.16. In this episode, I'm going to be going through the trailer. We have the patch notes. I made a nice uh, PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to be going through all the information, but first, let's go through the trailer together because we got to know what Scourge League is all about, and I'll go through all the most important information I've picked out from the patch notes, the Scourge League expansion, the announcement, all the new stuff, and I'll uh, short make this video short for you guys and uh yeah let's get into it boom the day the demons found our world the innocent were first to die what the hell holy shit what is that oh my god Look at the bar! Ooh. They approach your world, your ray class. You must take the fight to them. Embrace the power of chaos. It's tier two. Become more than mortal. Unique Face items. Only four. Uber, new tree. New masteries. Guild Hido. Expedition. Goodbye, Parandis. Oh, what is that? They are ravenous. They are endless. Alright, now that we've done the trailer, let's get into my PowerPoint presentation. We have the 3.16 Scourge League most important stuff in no particular order. Let's go, and thank you guys for all the support on today's stream when we did the announcement stream. That was really great of you guys. Uh, Alright, let's start it off with a banger. Uh, like I said, in no particular order, but this one was a big one, so I put it at the, fr at the front. Uh, so I was planning to start and play uh, the whole season and crush all the content and AFK Blight and all that stuff with Syndicate Operative Spectres. Oh no. The Syndicate Operative and these things have a bug that causes them to hit a target multiple times simultaneously when firing additional projectiles. What do they do? They fix shotgunning. Rip the Syndicate Operative Spectres. Rest in peace. I, I really wanted to do it, but fuck. Uh, golem life regen. Wait, they gave our golems an extra 1% life regen? Stone golems from 1% to 2. These ones up 1. What? Okay. Kingmaker. Fortify effect lowered by half. Instead of 20% damage reduction from hits, it's 20. Uh, it's 10%. Is it good? Uh, I think we'll still use it. We might be... We might use uh, Sign of the Sin Eater for the ailment. Uh, inflict on the anime guardian instead of us, but I I think that anime Gar the kingmaker will still be better than the uh, influence weapons and uh, potentially the other uh, weapon options. This is still pretty good. Yeah, flesh and stone. They nerfed blind to a twenty percent less accuracy and evasion rating instead of fifty percent less. Um, and now it's only 25% mana reserve for Flesh and Stone instead of 35%. And then they also nerfed Maim on the Flesh and Stone to ma enemies maimed by the skill is 8% increased physical damage from 13%, so a 5% less. And then up to 11% at gem level uh, 20 from 16, so a 5% minus again. It's like, damn, just 5%, 5%. Okay. Uh, I don't agree with the damage nerf, but okay. Uh, bone offering just completely destroyed so nerfed no longer causes minions to recover life when they block instead it now grants minions life regen if they've blocked recently so you have to run decay ward if you want the life recover when they block uh, like percent life and um, 
that then that simulates the shaper block shield and same thing for you you will have to have a shaper shield with block uh, life on block instead of using bone offering because it doesn't have percent life uh, blo on block anymore delve more rewarding faster harder faster deeper faster everything better alchemical resonators deleted less chess more rewarding at encounters new delve biome modifiers and they continue past 6k so no more of the like deleting all the mods past 6k blight oh uh, what i think about this obviously it's all fucking great pog rip bone offering blight they fixed the node on the skill tree finally epidemiology no longer provides blight maps blighted maps found in areas are anointed it now has blight chests in areas have 100 percent more to get it's unchanged and then it still has 100 percent more to get more blight maps and then the uh it has a 35 percent chance for the lanes of blight encounters to have additional reward chest so it's two of them combined kind of which this is really good instead of the anointing finally so i wrote here they fixed it now you can split beast tier 16 blight maps with venable plagued arachnids without the worry of them already being enchanted Unless somebody enchants it and then sells it, but I don't think they would waste their oils to sell it, right? Um, and then you can split it. So this is a huge buff. Feels good, man, to run Blight on the map, especially using Epidemiology. I can't wait. Uh, Atlas map changes. So Burial Chambers and Jungle Valley and a bunch of other good maps got deleted. Uh, where where do you farm the Doctor? Spider Forest. Fiend drops from Poor Joys. The Undaunted is in Conservatory map now. And the, the Dapper Prodigy is in the Palace map, which is six links. Um, Uber Simulacrum, Uber Blight, Uber Legion, Uber Breach. Added 10 additional waves to the Simulacrum. It now has a total of 30 waves. As you can expect, these extremely difficult extra waves are very rewarding and feature escalating chances for a Delirium boss to spawn. With each wave you play, the Simulacrum now has an increasing chance of dropping Cluster Jewels and past wave 20 Delirium unique items. So we have in the bottom left the Blight showing a bunch of oils, nine different uh, total oils only three you can only have three of one oil type though so like three silver at one time no more you can't have four silver basically is the only rule but nine total nine oils total um and in the middle chayula's flawless breachstone absolutely sick we already went over these before but then the unrelenting timeless Marikath emblem it shows that this is different than the Val emblem that we saw this one instead of the penetrate uh, elemental resistance and the penetrate and the overwhelm physical damage reduction this one has the attack speed and move speed and cast speed so you can see that wow this is going to be so fucking hard when you stack up five different ones with basically total 10 modifiers scaling and then you have the life scaling and and then i was only giving the stats for one of these emblems there's five of them in total so it's five times the mods and therefore five times the hp Whew. jeez that's crazy uh expedition returns and parandis is removed i'm so fucking sad about parandis being removed but the li life goes on. Expedition returns. Well, it never, never left, actually. It just continues. Expedition currency untradeable, though. Um, they did this probably because of me. And a lot of people probably did it, too. Because it was the right thing to do. Uh, it wasn't anything against them. It was just genuinely... When the way they designed it, it was beneficial to just sell the currency. So... Uh, yet yeah, now they made it all untradeable except for the reroll currency and then the expedition currency doesn't need to be picked up anymore it auto loots so that's what they traded it. it's the trade-off since they made it not tradable well it auto loots and then logbooks max it max it only item level 83 now i area at level 83 um they made runic monster duplicate uh more rare so one of my the basically the best mod the only mod you really look for in a, in logbooks that we figured out was runic monsters duplicate is so insane if you pick it at the beginning and then you pick a bunch of runic monsters and you just get a ton of your reroll currency uh yep pretty good expedition from ag six and onwards so that's when it begins new watchstone expedition mods expedition atlas passives and here they are uh we have three 
Distinguished Demolitionist, uh, Buried Knowledge and Ancient Writings. The Distinguished Demolitionist is Increased Explosion Radius and Increased Number of Explosives. And then we have Buried, buried Knowledge is Increased Quantity of Expedition Logbooks from Runic Monsters. And then the other one is 25% Increased Number of Runic Monsters. So that one's just a bunch of extra logbooks, Pog. The other one was being able to affect the explosions which is actually sick when you're not even in a logbook this is for maps it's awesome and then rem remnants having an additional suffix modifier 40 percent and you can have an additional two extra remnants and then the other one should normally only have a base chance of finding an expedition of eight percent but with this you'll be able to get it three times and you can get nine percent chance so 17 percent chance to find an expedition uh, and then you can also buff up your expeditions that you find with all this. So that's pretty good. And watchstones on top of it. Guild updates. They buff guild support. C control click items into the stash. No, they added more stashes. Guild hideout. Guild portal. Uh, I have a guild. I'll invite you. Just please ask and be patient. Uh, I want you in my guild. Come on, guys. Let's go. And then uh, here's a guild stash to show you. They added guild stash affinities, all the guild stashes, uh, uniques, metamorph, blight, quad, currency, etc. All the support. Um, there it is. And uh, control click. Pog. Scourge. Oh, and yeah, there's like ways to fund the, the guild. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Scourge. New... This is the, I, I pull out the stuff that I think is important, like I said at the beginning, most important stuff to me. New intelligence skill gem, intuitive link, targets an allied player, we don't know all the all of these yet, there's three missing, and I'll probably update it once I know the rest, but targets an allied player to apply a buff, which links you to them for a duration. While linked, their hits can trigger your supported spells. If the target dies while linked, you will also die. This is fine, we're not playing hardcore, and I don't think our minion will die. Like, let's say you put this on your main carry, your main, your carry on golem. Why would it die? Your anime guardian, why would it die? Like, that's not happening. So this is a reliable way for your minion to hit for you. And uh, in case you, yeah, you don't know what I mean about linking minion, because it didn't say anything about a minion there. We have a minion defense mastery in the bottom right. I talked about masteries. Uh, I'll go through them more on this page later. But basically with this, we can get another passive skill point called a mastery. And it's and we can link skills. Uh, link skills can target minions. So this thingy back here. Uh, where is it? This, this new intuitive link gem can actually link a minion with the new master reef on the, on the skill tree, which I'll get into later. There's a lot of cool stuff. It's awesome. Uh, so maybe I'll go through it right now so you understand it in order. Yeah, targets an ally player. So uh, you can link it. And then the way you get this mastery is uh, basically if you see in the middle of this sacrifice wheel, there's this new minion defense mastery. And that's what it looks like. And then there's this other one for the minion offense mastery, I'm assuming. We haven't we haven't seen it yet. But there's another one that looks like a blob with spikes. And it, it's supposed to be like a minion. And this is some other weird shit. But it says, once you allocate a notable in a cluster that has an available mastery, you can spend an additional point allocating one of the masteries from the type list. Uh, so on the right, that's the type list because it's a defense defense mastery. So the defense is the type, and then the list is the, from the mastery. Uh, you can't do a mastery for a notable that you anointed. So it has to be you pathing and you actually pressing and clicking it, and then you get access to the mastery, not from an anoint. So you anoint the ones you don't want, and then you could path to the ones you do want because masteries are so impactful. Um, so this will be so influential for how we anoint next season. Lots of new keystones and old keystones moved. Um, but yeah. So the main thing here is you select the sacrifice, you get the mastery, you spend an extra skill point, then you can get link skills can target minions. So we go back to this, and now your minions hitting can make it so you trigger your spells. What you cast with that, whew, the limits are fucking endless. Holy shit. And it didn't have a mana multiplier, so it doesn't increase the cost. New Val currency that allows modification of corrupted items like the crafting bench. It had a, 
a corrupted a uh, val chrome uh, a chromatic orb a val fusing a val jeweler's orb basically all the normal stuff that you can do in a crafting bench uh currently with val orbs and the regular currency jewelers chromatics fusings but it's a new currency pretty cool Scourge mode adds new monsters and powerful stuff that we need to kill as we rack up kills. We can go for tier 3 scourged corrupted implicit modifiers and items like by repeating it three times. So as you saw in the trailer, uh, we, we clicked the button, we went into this crazy red mode, bunch of crazy like the forest monsters or the flood from Halo. Um, and then these weird bodies come at come at us monsters and then we kill them we get kills the kills if we incubate an item the item can be corrupted three times which they call it a scourged corrupted implicit modifier or, or something and you can do that three times tier one tier two tier three uh different completely each time not bricking your item it doesn't change the rare mods i don't think it's just it doesn't change the explicit mods just the corrupt implicit which di is different from normal implicit and is different from enchanted mods it's different from everything it's just its own scourged corrupted implicit i believe so and then you can do that three times and it's really cool um yep no ways to modify it other than that i believe also it's just that just scourge very cool and then you have to do it by killing by putting the item in and then killing and you can uh and then the clicking it is kind of like a delirium like it puts this thing and red instead of a fog and all the monsters are harder and there's new monsters that come from just the just the button it's pretty cool i like it overall uh auras short form early auras buffed you get like a 50 percent aura extra reserved um in the beginning for free and then the late game end game aura stacking is nerfed to where instead of being able to reserve 20 auras for example of 50 percent mana reserve you'd be able to reserve six like that's how much of a nerf it is at the end 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 game aura stacking you cannot stack all the auras that's simply how it is ailment mitigation a bunch of support was added into the game we have a ton of options to prevent ailments now as you can see here i searched ailment and that's just a short part of it it's not even so just know that there's a billion ways to get ailment immunity in the new season tons of freeze immune chill immune shock immune blah blah, blah uh flash support etc tons of mitigation amazing then i had uh, the passive skill tree <laughs> everything was moved it looks like it will feel and play similar, but is obviously fundamentally different. Biggest changes, the mastery system. So I kind of already went through this. Um, I want to quickly say that I can't really go through the... We have the skill tree, but I can't actually go through it fully until we have the POB. Uh, but this mastery system is really cool. And the two strongest points from this defense mastery for now that I see is... Uh, Minions have 8% to all maximum elemental resistance, and then the link skills can target minions. So then there's lots of new keystones and old keystones moved. Um, they moved them because they thought that the tree was crowded in some areas, and some areas had none. So they moved them around to be more equally spread out around the tree. They have also spread out the tree so that it's more gapped, so that it's there's more space on the inside and they get and they space shit out uh defenses base defenses were buffed they basically doubled base defenses like evasion and armor um the effectiveness and it will be interesting to build the free block and potentially the free max res on the passive tree um especially with masteries and it's going to be interesting to play with the new base defense roles um that can be changed with that new sacred orb and then i think this is my final slide so we have the awakened gem buff uh this is absolutely insane that's why i left it till last i highlighted the key points here awaken brutality 10 percent chance to crush enemies for four seconds on him at level five awaken melee fizz so 10 percent chance to intimidate enemies for four seconds on hit level five awaken minion damage plus one level to supported gems minion skill gems at level 5. Awaken multi. 20% less attack damage instead of 25. This is like 37.5% more damage in the best case scenario. Why? Crushes 
uh, overwhelm physical damage, uh, sorry, yeah, overwhelm physical damage reduction, which means if they have physical damage reduction, it would overwhelm it, so this is why I said best case scenario, because if they don't have any, this is useless, but it can be 15% more. The Intimidate is 10% more attack damage, I believe, and we do attacks, and then plus one level, depends on what level your thing is at, but I was basing it on a level 35 Reaper that goes to 36, and then this 5% less attack damage, like, that's... Well, yeah, it should just be 5% more. That's awesome. And then we have at the bottom here. I left it at the bottom separate because I didn't calculate it uh, as part of this 37.5. Awaken Unbound Ailments. 58% increased effect of the uh, non-damaging ailments on enemies. Up to 69 from 59. So up to 10% uh, buff. That's awesome. That's so sick. And then you do that. 10% increased effect on the skitter bots. Whew! Awesome! Oh, baby. That's awesome, dude. Let's fucking go. That's sick. Awakened buffs. I love it. Okay, that's it, dude. That's all of it. It's a huge fucking patch. Huge patch notes. Lots of important shit. Uh, thank you for staying and watching it and listening and uh, catching up and staying tuned. And uh, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my PowerPoint presentation. It was absolutely fun to put together. It was a lot of fun to present. Oh my god, they killed Bone Offering now too. Oh my god. Oh my god, it requires an influenced item. Fully. Completely. I can't believe that. Oh my god, Fortify Kingmaker. Dude, they buffed Gold. <laughs> They buffed golems and killed syndicate operatives. Holy shit, I was gonna play these. Well, either way, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And now, I'm gonna take this opportunity to thank my Patreon, my YouTube members who financially support the channel. Thank you guys for all the support. And thank you to anyone new who joins the Patreon the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Hey, can we get 100 likes on this video? Thanks.